Devin. Us in his backyard. Sorry. So the dockyard will shelter shelter restrictions during hurricane season and a base for careening and repairing. The dockyard was also an advantage to the British because with the dockyard here, sugar and rum could be transported to Europe efficiently while protecting the colonial islands. Now the two white gates we entered on our way in, they were always kept closed and heavily guarded with rules hanging on the outside like no pets, no children and especially no women. Now, women weren't allowed into the dockyard because they were seen as spies and destruction to men. However, I can only agree to the destruction part. <laughs> <laughs> now, the bricks used in construction of the buildings and walls, they were brought in ships as ballast from London. While on the return to England, the ships would be packed with sugar and rum. Now, the brown building with the ramp at the front, this building was known as the Southwick Shed and Cabin, built in 1769. And it has the oldest foundation in the lock. So back then, logs would be rolled up to stone incline, <coughs> then into the building to be cut into planks and timber to repair buildings and ships all around the lock. Today, it's known as the NF Sales Company, where they sell clean and repair sales. So if you have a boat, it's refreshing. Now, to my right, this is my <coughs> building. This was known as the Naval Officer and Clerk's House, built in 1855. And it was said that on Nelson's visit to Antigua, he stayed there, but it wasn't true because it was built 50 years after his death. <laughs> so today, it's now the Dockyard Museum, and they up to the side, and the small brick building you're seeing to the back, that was known as their kitchen back then, because they never got building their houses and kitchens together was a good idea, because there was a fire hazard. So today, that building is now the Dockyard Space. Now the two-story brick building straight ahead, that was known as the copper and lumber store, built in 1789. The lower half was where copper and lumber sheets were stored, while the upper half was where the men hang their hammocks to sleep in while they go to be Now today, it's known as the copper and lumber bar hotel and restaurant, and it's the second, second oldest hotel in Africa. The upper half today is now 14 rooms, 11 named after nothing. There's the gate right there. from Harry Potter. <laughs> do, do you think that goes to the uh, 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 Mystery of Magic?
Uh, this is the the Nelson Dockyard. built fort. I just heard a cannon. <laughs> or something banging. I don't I don't I I doubt it's an actual cannon, but it could be uh, uh, residual. Uh, oh my god, Antigua is just so gorgeous here. Uh, first time here don't really know what, what, what to expect. Um, I'm not sure if this place is haunted. I mean, it's been here for 250 some odd years, give or take. So, probably is. Never know. Um,
Let's take a peek inside. Yeah, this the the bottom half has a bar. If if you can see. So I wonder if, if this would uh, take me to the, um, the the mystery the ministry of magic. Gotta gotta bring up my uh, 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 a mug of money. <laughs> but, that's funny. Oh, pack of theropod birds again. Okay, so I'm 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 gonna end this this part of the video. Um, and if I if I go in, go and say to to any of any of the other buildings, I'll, I'll probably uh, pick it up there. If not, um, I don't know. So, um, peace, love. I'm gone. Happy hauntings. Later.